What is up YouTube? So welcome to another episode of the Jack of All Trades. This is going to be a cool project. I really enjoyed this one. It is an aerator cooler, live well, live well aerator cooler, however you want to say it, however you want to <laughs> label this. But basically what ended up happening is one of my friends did not have a live well in their boat. So I kind of just gathered some old parts that I had laying around and decided to put something together for her. Uh, again, the whole point of this channel is to try to use your resources as best as possible. Uh, look in the garage, guys. Look in the closet. Look in your shed. See what you guys have laying around. Trust me, you will find a plethora of things. Sometimes I look at old motors or little things that you can pick apart that you can actually do something else with. So this is basically the whole premise of this uh, this live well. I was looking around and I thought I felt I had enough um, uh, extra things laying around that I could put this together and it came out wonderfully, I think. So let's go into it. So I'll work a little backwards here and I'll show you the end product first and then I'll sh basically tell you how I did it. So here you can see where you can plug it into the 12 volt uh, socket so cigarette lighter, some might say, back in the olden days, you have your light, you have your intake down at the bottom, and then you have your aerator nozzle up at the top. This one you can screw uh, outwards or screw inwards to basically just control the flow. So you go righty tighty, less flow, lefty loosey, more flow. And that's basically the end product right there. I had an old pump laying around, an old live well aerator pump from my old bass boat. So I went ahead and used that. Uh, this is a light again from my old bass boat that I bought for a couple of dollars, I suppose. I don't remember. Um, again, penny on the dollars for a cigarette lighter plug, four bucks or so. And then I bought the riser for a couple of cents there at Home Depot just so I could go across uh, the cooler. This was something that was a little bit difficult for me to calculate the overall cost just because I had a lot of the materials. It was an old cooler, an old pump, an old light. Uh, everything was already there. I had wire laying around. So uh, honestly, I just went and bought a $0.77, or, I'm sorry, $0.77 cent riser because I needed to improvise. So I wouldn't be able to give you a cost of say and uh, you know if, if you were to do this from scratch i guess you would have to figure that out on your own to see if it's worth it or not but again guys if you have any of this stuff laying around from previous or boats or maybe you know somebody who has a boat that's just been sitting there you know maybe you could you know try to take some parts off of it you know just some food for thought all right guys so here's the gist of it if I look up the back wall of the inside of the cooler, what I ended up doing was I drilled with a hole saw, a one inch hole there, three quarter inch hole there, and a one and a half hole here. Now the difference is this hole I did not go all the way through. So I basically just ended up using the hole saw to drill into the back wall but not so that it so that it didn't go all the way through okay so that's very important because your light is only going to i guess go in that little that little hole but you don't want it to go all the way across all right so for the side view very simple so here's your hole that i we made one inch that's where you're going to put your aerator pump through you're going to put a gasket so this would be a gasket so that the water doesn't leak out and then up at the top again you know with a gasket and this is where the um, riser pipe went all the way through because the aerator nozzle was not able to go all the way across the the thickness of the cooler 
so that's why i had to improvise a little bit uh around the same area as you can see here right this is where i have a light i just drilled a little small hole there enough for the wires to get out so you have your negative and your positive wire your negative and your positive wire from the aerator and the light then i put them together basically so right here i joined them once i joined them then i just matched it up negative and positive with your cigarette lighter or your 12 volt uh, plug and that's it i guess you know you can get fancy put a a switch if you wanted to uh, i mean i opted not to because in my head i guess i want the live oil to always be going while i'm operating it um simple as unplugging it if i don't want it to i guess circulate some water but uh you guys <clears throat> can rig this up however you want that's the beauty of it and here's what i just described um, I guess in real time you can see the intake at the bottom you can see the nozzle spray up at the top uh, just make sure that that light you don't go all the way through again that's just to be able to make it flush here's the back side of the cooler everything's already installed everybody's everything's uh, fully functional so you see where the aerator pump is already set in place you see the wires pretty simple black with black red with red I didn't have any other color so I ended up just using the blue wire that I had it's not that long it's about seven to ten foot uh, section of wire just enough to be able to move it around the boat but you don't need too much I mean the boats not that big um, the riser uh, piece all the way to the left hand side there the only thing that I, I hadn't put at this point was the hose clamps um, I was just testing it out so you can see why it was leaking a little bit there but once I put the hose clamps the leak was gone and that's that once again the final product really happy with it for the amount of time that I spent with it I think it's gonna be super effective you know plug and play you put your shrimp in there you put your mullet whatever it is that you're taking throw it on your boat you can even fish at night thanks again for watching guys till next time keep on DIYing and let's keep learning from each other Thank you.